Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host Brian Hernandez and I'm excited about my favorite time of the year, fall. The leaves are changing, there's a cool breeze in the air, I can finally go outside in Mississippi without melting to a gooey puddle. So today we want to celebrate this season with a seasonally flavored pie and I know you guys are thinking, is it going to have pumpkin? Uh, no, that's been done to death. In fact, I killed that recipe last year. Go ahead and check it out on the recipe bank. It's great, it's very tasty. But this year, we tapped one of our friends at the Pizza Kitchen, Chef Leo Spaziri from Chicago to give us a great tasting pie featuring the flavors of fall with butternut squash, the unsung hero of the season. Now this pie is going to blend the savory and the sweet in a way that you've never seen before. This pie is called the Tarte Le Tomne, or the Autumn Pie. So for this pie, we're going to need a Neapolitan dough ball, butternut squash, fresh poblano peppers, olive oil, salt and pepper, mascarpone, roasted butternut squash sauce, feta cheese, smoked pancetta thinly sliced long ways, and crumbled Italian amaretti cookies. Prepare your wood-fired oven to reach an ambient temperature of 450 degrees. With a fork, pierce the outside of the squash 10 to 15 times, pushing through the flesh to the ends of the tines. With a knife, carefully cut the squash in half from stem to base, and use a spoon to clean out the cavity of seeds and stringy bits. Rub both halves of the squash completely with olive oil and season the flesh side of the squash with salt and pepper. Place the prepared squash flesh side down on the sheet pan or sizzle plate. Roast inside the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until the flesh is fork tender. When cool enough to handle, scoop out the flesh and let it cool in a bowl until ready to use. Coat the poblano peppers with oil. Place the peppers on a sheet pan or sizzle plate into the wood-fired oven near the coal bed and allow the exterior to sear until it turns black and becomes charred. Turn the peppers and repeat until they are black and charred on all sides. Remove the peppers from the oven and place in a bowl. Tightly cover that bowl with plastic wrap and allow the peppers to steam for one hour. Remove the peppers from the bowl and peel the skins from the flesh and open the pepper to remove the seeds in the stem. Cut the cleaned pepper into one quarter inch wide strips and cool until they're ready to use. In a bowl, add roasted butternut squash and mascarpone. Season with salt and pepper to taste, and using a potato or bean masher, blend it until it's completely incorporated with no white streaks. The mixture should not be completely smooth like a puree. Prepare the wood-fired oven to an ambient temperature of 600 to 700 degrees. Stretch out the dough ball to a diameter of 12 inches round and spread the butternut squash sauce on top of the dough evenly. Evenly distribute the poblano peppers and the pancetta onto the pizza. Bunch up each piece of the pancetta instead of laying them flat to get them a little bit crispy on the top after the cook. Spread the feta onto the pizza evenly and bake in a wood-fired oven until fully cooked. Remove from the oven and spread the crumbled amaretti cookies evenly. There you have it folks, the Tarte La Tomne. A flavorful pizza that has the best of your sweet and your savory pie featuring something besides that uppity fall ingredient, the pumpkin. Pumpkins, be butternut squash or be nothing. Now if you're interested in learning how to create recipes like this, or even just the basics of pizza making, check out the article on PMQ.com featuring Leo Spaziri in the chef's corner. Now, there's only one thing left to do, and I know I say it every time, it's the hardest part of my job, but actually, I'm pretty excited today. So we're gonna cut this guy up, and we're gonna give it a taste. There we go. It's light and it's tasty. And I tell you what, the poblanos, they're not hot. It underlies everything. You have the savory from the pancetta, which kind of renders off when you cook it inside the oven. And the feta, which is always a great taste. And of course that butternut squash, it's not super sweet on the bottom, but it has just a little hint of sweetness and it's all topped off by the amaretti. Mmm, I gotta eat this one all day long. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us in the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. That's all the time we have for today, but uh, we'll see you guys next time. And until then, you guys keep on squashing.